a very distinguished guest, Dr. Brian Steens. We're very, very honoured to have him. And um, if I can give you just a, a brief resume, he will be talking purely on health aspects. Just health aspects, nothing else. Not about the environment, not about roads, not about the decrease in price of houses or anything like that. Purely about health aspects. We make no apology for possibly scaring some people because I think you need to know these things. Everything that Dr. Van Steen says is based on fact and can be substantiated. Um, I know for a fact he has fought against 32 incinerators. Um, he's only 126 of them, you know, absolutely <laughs> disgraceful. Um, Um, that's, according to my reckon, about 80%. So I implore him to try and knock it up to about 85% and get that bloody incinerator taken off our land as well. Um, still, enough of me. So please, sit back, listen, learn and enjoy from Dr. Brown Stevens. Thank you very much for inviting me here. It's a long time since I've been up this part of the world. I used to help uh, Ken Coates MEP for some years back in the 90s and we were going great guns in North Derbyshire and <coughs> also I spoke to a public inquiry which I run in, in the outskirts of Nottingham and so I'm not a total stranger to the area. Now there are two things that I want to discuss tonight and uh, the first one is the shortest one so I'll get that out of the way that is that the incinerator is not any more best available technique now, as you read the diabetes uh, too has trebled the heart attacks, deaths among diabetics are doubled the obesity is taken off the suicides are taken off the children have gone loopy and so on and so on. All these things I'm going to explain why that's happened and how it's happened. And, <coughs> and the second thing is that the bill, the IPPC bill, which is the Integrated Pollution Prevention Control Act of Parliament, was altered in 1990 to really anything will do. That was John Preston. For better equipment, you save six pounds in the NHS, and four pounds on the social security system. So you notice that just above the Port Salvador Steelworks over the mountain in Glen Corrig, you've got 40% of people in the chronic sick from the emissions going over the hill with the highest chimneys and grounding in the next valley. Surprise, surprise. Is this good for society to have so many people laid low? Of course it's not. Is it right for so many kids to be disabled, like in Birmingham, one in seven? and so many underachieving, uh, underachieving schools. If the pollution was sorted, most of these epidemics would disappear. All the TBs and the polluted towns, all the mass epidemics before were in the polluted towns. The hospital infections are mostly in the polluted towns. No matter what you look at on my list, it's all happening in the same places. So if you look at heart attacks in <coughs> North East London, around um, Hackney and Canary Wharf and all those areas, is 240% of the national average, which is already about the highest in the world. If you look at the heart attack rates downwind of these major installations, in installations which is the big oil refineries and the incinerators, it's all happening there, because that area of London is affected by the Edmonton incinerator from the northwest and the Lewisham incinerator with a southwesterly wind. And if you look at um, Walton Forest, where a lot of rich people live, they got the highest rate of baby deaths, and also they got pretty well the highest rates of cancers and just about anything else in London. 